Well, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another biology presentation. So in this presentation, we are continuing answering biology paper 2 for 2024 for GC candidates. So we are answering our question 5 right here. So under question 5, we have question A and question B. So we are going to start with question A. Question A1 reads, what is the mutation? So they want us to define what mutation is. So mutation can be defined as a permanent change in DNA sequence of an organism. Or you can say a mutation is a change in the genetic material of an organism. That is how we can define mutation. So here we have said, all right, so this is what mutation is. Mutation is a permanent change in DNA sequence of an organism. Or we can say mutation is a change in the genetic material of any organism. So there are different ways that you can define mutation, okay? And this change that comes in the DNA sequence of an organism, it can be caused by errors, okay? Errors that takes place during the DNA replication, or exposure to mutagens or viral infections, okay? That's how these uh, mutations can occur. So we now come to our Roman numeral 2. State two causes of mutation. So here, they want us to state two causes of what? Mutation. So I'm just from saying, uh, the change can be caused by errors during DNA replication or exposure to mutagens. Now, when we say mutagens, mutagens are just agents that can cause mutation in the DNA. So these uh, causes can be physical, chemical, or biological in what? In nature. Okay. So, what are some of the causes of this mutation? Number one, we can say aging, okay? We can say aging. Apart from aging, uh, we can also say exposure. We can say exposure to uh, mutagens, or you can say exposure to ultra violent radiation. Exposure to ultraviolet radiation, okay? Or you can say spontaneous errors during DNA replication, even this is a, it's a cause of mutation. Or we can say genetic recombination, it's also another cause of what? Mutation, okay? Or we can say errors during DNA replication. These are some of the causes of what? Mutation. So we have answered our question 5a. We now come to our question 5b right here. Our question 5b reads, A couple, both with normal skin color, produced an albino child. Explain, using a genetic diagram, how this would have been possible. Use the alleles capital letter A and small letter A to represent genes for skin color. Okay? So here we are told that a couple... Which, are, which had both normal skin, produce an albino child. So this couple, both of the parents were normal. And for them to have an albino child simply means that this couple was uh, heterozygous. Okay? He was heterozygous. So how can we come up with a um, genetic diagram? So to come up with a genetic diagram, first thing, you are going to need the parental you are going to need the parental phenotype. This is the first step. So under the parental phenotype, since both of these parents are normal, so we are going to say, um, we are looking at the skin, not so. We are going to say normal, normal skin. Okay, then we can put X crossed with another normal skin because they have said both of these parents were normal okay now after parental phenotype we need to come up with the parental genotype so here we have our parental genotype and genotype is the genetic composition of an organism so since we are looking at the albino and we have been told that both of these couple was normal so since we have said normal and they are going to be heterozygous we are using the allele capital letter A and small letter A. Capital letter A shows a normal gene. Small letter A shows a defective gene, a gene which is infected. 
So this was a trazygous. So we are going to have capital letter A and small letter A. Even here, capital letter A and small letter A. Then after this uh, part, okay, we are going to have now the gametes. Right, so we are now going to have the gametes. So here we are going to write gametes. So uh, these gametes are just going to separate. So I'll just write the capital letter A here, the small letter A right there. Capital letter A here, the small letter A right there. So then from here, we just need now to, to cross. So the first crossing that you are going to have it's this with the, this other one right here. Okay? With this other one. So, here, we can write, we have A, A. Okay? Then the same, we'll get this same one right here. Then we cross it with the, this other one. So, I hope that you are able to see. We cross it with the, this other one. So we have capital letter A and small letter A. We are done crossing this one. Now we come to this. So this one will be crossed with the, this first one. So I do hope that it's clear. Okay. So we have capital letter A and small letter A. Then the same one, this one. will be crossed with the last one, which is uh, this one. You are even done crossing here. So we have uh, small letter A, small letter A. So this that we have, okay? This that we have, this is the genotype of the offspring, okay? So here, we are going to write here, we are going to write F1 offspring, this is our F1 offspring genotype. So, the first offspring was the, having this genotype AA. The second one, A and small letter A. So, the first one was the homozygous, this one, heterozygous, heterozygous, homozygous recessive, as you can see. Okay? Then, from there, uh, what are we going to do? From there, what are we going to do? So here it's very easy now. After having this uh, F1 offspring genotype, we now need to have F1 offspring phenotype. So we now need to have F1 offspring phenotype. So phenotype, this is the physical or the outward appearance of an organism. So since we are looking at the skin color, so the first one was uh, homozygous dominant. This one was having normal skin color. Okay, the first child. Normal skin color. Okay. Also, the second one is heterozygous. This one is dominant. This one is uh, recessive. So, this one is also normal, but it is a carrier. Now, we just write normal skin color. Normal skin color. So, we come to the third one. This one also same. Normal. Normal skin color. Okay. Now we come to this one. This one was having a mosaicus recessive. So I said the, the small letter A is representing a defective gene. So this one is the one who was an albino child. Okay. So this one will say this is an albino child okay so this one is the one that had the, the the skin color was not normal okay it was infected infected density where they had an albino child so here the question was just explain using a genetic diagram how this would have been possible so it would have been possible for this couple to have an albino child if both parents are heterozygous as you can see indeed they have produced a child who's an albino. So we've come to the end of our session. Thank you so much, everybody, for having time to view this content. This has been your presenter, Mr. Mrenga. Bye-bye.